Hey guys, we are going to Bugsu where we are going to see different species of butterflies and insects. Yes. Right? So let's see. <laughs> I'm curious to see all animals in the zoo. We'll come back and see what we can shop for the family. Yeah. Everywhere is bear, like bear. Yeah. I don't know. Is there any? It's very nice. <laughs> we still have a few minutes here if you want to check. But. So guys, we are finally near by the zoo. So excited to see it. Hidden? What time do you open? We did, we're open 11 to 4. That looks good. It is uh, a really, really volatile chemical that lives under the exoskeleton that is reacting to UV light. And there are a lot of theories as to why they do this. We don't really know. But um, one of the coolest theories is that they're actually using their entire body as an eye. Because if you are living in a very, very dry place, Is in case, but you also see he has these big long antenna up here. And where safety is, there's where food is. And we don't want to pet her too much because if she feels a lot of pressure on her back, yeah. she's gonna be like, Oh my god, a bird! And she's gonna freak out. Not that she can hurt you, but she might like flail a little bit and fall on the ground. And a lot of big adult beetle, he squished his nose into the glass and he bent it to the side. And so, unfortunately, he is stuck with that silly nose now forever. Mm. Yeah! That little wormy guy? Ew! Yeah, he's that is a baby beetle, also known as a larva. Oh, Beetles go through what's called a complete metamorphosis. Oh. So just like a butterfly that starts out as a caterpillar, beetles start out as a little larva. And they actually, this is the longest part of their life. They have to spend most of their life in this form because in their next form, they don't have a mouth. They can't eat. So they have to get as fat as they can 
so that they can these bigger beetles will spend about two years in this shape. And he'll be one of those big black beetles in here. And actually you can see there's this teeny tiny little wormy guy here. This part right here, this top part is her head. And actually if you get really close, you can see the little eyes there. So when she gets eggs of a tarantula, these, this is not walnuts, it's exoskeleton, this is an exoskeleton. Mm -hmm. So when she was a little spiderling, a little tiny baby spider, to, uh, but she would need that bird to be injured on the ground. She can't prey on things that are in here. It's not something she's able to do. Tarantula. She's 18 or 19 year old. So she is tarantula. Falafel, the elephant beetle. He's hungry, so he's going to have some meals and sitting while sitting on the sofa having tea or even beer. He doesn't like tea, he likes beer. So these are very tiny ants having fun in their life. Guys, we are not allowed to make a video but I'm making for you guys taking risks. Hi there. Oh, it's here also. But he they are not moving. Guys, they are pathogenesis. And you want to see their babies? See, they are here. Tiny. Why is there Madagascar pink one? I'll show you. See how beautiful they are. That guy is hissing the same way that you guys would hiss. You take a really dig, big deep breath in. <gasps> that sound, that is what he is doing. Only he is taking that breath not with his mouth. Those are called spiracles, and that is what bugs breathe through. Bugs do not breathe through their mouths. They breathe through little holes on the sides of their body. And so this lovely guy can take in a big deep breath and let like that out chance. like a little hissy like sound. Now he is trying to using those little horns to headbutt other male cockroaches. He is male. Now these guys aren't having headbutt battles in here because there's no females for them to fight over. This is the bro zone. This is the man cave. This this means that there is a social hierarchy for cockroaches. There's going to be a big top dog. He's going to be huge. He's going to have those big horns. He's going to have really long antenna, and he's going to be mating with most of the cockroach ladies. And then as you go lower down the list, you get cockroaches that are smaller, they're skinnier, and they have shorter antennas. Yeah. So these insects don't need partners to have
female jungle name. Mexican red knee hazel. Children rose hair pottery. These are the snails, guys. Wow. So now the shopping time. It is just at the store behind me here. Uh, Gabrielle is the educator in there right now. So if you have questions, you can ask. These are the souvenir shops, guys. Where you can buy for your relatives, friends. You can buy hoodies, some shopping bags, bags, jewelries for shopping, for gifting purpose, beautiful keychains. These are also the souvenir shop where you can buy gifts for your families, friends, colleagues, boss, and your dear ones. These are so beautiful keychains. So we're going now to Government House, which I don't really know anything about, but uh, I just know that they aren't offering tours at the moment, but I imagine it's going to be another beautiful building. So off we go.
actually not a thing. Whereas government houses. Wait, guys, there's a surprise for you guys. Cha! <laughs> it's funny. New thing. You know where he's coming from, right? Uh, no. Occupier, that's the bathroom. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's a washroom, guys. It says occupied or occupier, yeah, that's a washroom. Outhouse? Yeah, that's another word. Oh, okay. Bathroom. Guys, the way we celebrate Diwali in India, people celebrate the same way in Canada as a Christmas. People get bonus in Diwali, like gifts, bonus at their work, and here in Canada they get uh, bonus and gifts. That's great. Hi there. 